moving worksheets between workbooks. Just running through the absolute basics first, you will remember that these tabs are called worksheets. The whole document is called a workbook. You should already know that you can move worksheets within the workbook by clicking and dragging. So this employee's worksheet with the employee's data on it, I can move that by clicking and dragging to position it somewhere else within this workbook or spreadsheet. That's click and drag and let go. And that moves it to the beginning or, for example, the end. Oop, missed it. Or the end of those series of tabs or anywhere in between. So the tab is the worksheet and we're looking at moving those worksheets um, between workbooks. As always, more than one way to do this. But basically they are the same way, it's just a different way of getting there. From the Home tab, we can come across to the cell section and from the cell selection, we can select Format and drop down to Move or Copy Worksheet. And it brings up the Move or Copy dialog box. The second way of doing that is simply to right click on the tab itself. Make sure you right click on the tab that you want to work with. Move or Copy from the shortcut menu. And there we have the Move or Copy dialog box. So two ways to get here. Now, quite often you might be working on a, a worksheet and you think, well, actually, this data would be useful in another workbook that you are creating or working on. And what people have often done in the past is selected the cells and then used copy and paste or cut and paste if they want to move, switch to the new workbook and paste it. And they think they've done um, the task. It can work on a very small spreadsheet. But the problem with that is I've selected this data. What if I have some more data further down that we can't see? Let's just scroll down and have a look. Ah, I have some more data here. So the problem with copying and pasting in that way is that it's very easy to leave things behind. And that might be really important data. So this is what we do instead of that. We use this Move and Copy, so I'm going to right click on the tab, the Employees tab, and then do Move or Copy, and click with the left mouse button. And that brings up our Move or Copy dialog box, and you can see we are working within the Hide Show Workbook, as it says here. We know we've got the Hide Show Workbook open, it tells us on our title bar. So we're working within the existing workbook or the existing spreadsheet document. So the default is to move the selected sheet, and I had employees selected, move the selected sheet to the existing workbook, and I can say where I want to move it in this list, before sheet 2 or before sheet 3. I'll move it to before sheet 2. Notice the tick box for create a copy. The default is to move the workbook. If you want to create a duplicate, put a tick in the box and you'll create a new worksheet. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm not going to move it, I'm going to create a copy. We then click on OK. And you can see now we've got our original worksheet employees and we've got a new one before sheet 2 called employees 2 that we can click on and there's the data. So I was moving within an existing workbook. You should already be able to do that. Let's look at switching to a new workbook. So I'm going to stick with Employees 2, right click, Move or Copy. All we need to do is, instead of doing it in the existing workbook, we can select the drop-down menu and choose to put it into a new workbook. So now, we're going to move the selected sheet to a new workbook. The new workbook hasn't got any sheets in it, so I can't make any selections here. And this time I am going to move, so I'm not going to tick Create a Copy. Click OK. And you can see what has happened is we've created a new workbook called Book 
to it's moved the worksheet employees to into this new workbook and if I just switch back to the original view switch windows hide show you can see the original employees 2 worksheet has gone it's been moved into a new workbook I'm going to switch back again as so that's view switch windows go to book 2 I'm going to save this document I'm just going to put it on my desktop for easy access and I'll call it employees 2 because that's the name of the worksheet that's in there and save now this workbook's got a name employees 2 so I'm going to switch back to the original hide show and there's the original worksheet that we were working on let's repeat the process we're going to move this worksheet from this workbook into the new one that's been created so we click right mouse button on the tab move or copy with the left mouse button move the selected sheet to where I want to put it not in a new workbook but one that I've actually already got open I'm going to put it in the employees 2 workbook so I'll click employees 2 from the list this time I'll create a copy and OK there's the employees 2 workbook you can see now we've got both employees and employees 2 worksheets and if I switch back to hide show employees is still there so it's moving and copying a worksheet between work books